Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video in our channel. And in this video, we are going to discuss regarding Tech Mahindra interview questions, which uh, recently you all know that Tech Mahindra have been hiring to different different uh, batches and this hiring is going on for more than 2-3 months now already and there are already multiple batches that have done their interviews and already got offer letters and getting someone are getting uh, their exam and some people are getting their document verification mail and now also there is one more batch hiring going on and they have just completed with their communication assessment next going to be their technical uh, interview so in this video we are going to discuss technical interview questions of Tech Mahinda so before moving on if you are new to the channel make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram group from the description box link if you have any discussions and make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post different different multiple hirings onboardings exams some interview updates regularly make sure not to miss out so first of all the take Mahindra interview will happens one on one mode okay there will be only one person who will take your interview and uh, all, only one uh, people or only one student will also be in the meeting so only total two persons will be there one on one interview is going to happen and the time duration so whenever you are going to get your interview mail you can see from the mail there will be like uh, eight to 10 people mentioned with their given time slots so all of those people will be uh, given interview on the same day to the same persons okay and they will be mentioning different different time slots for different different people hardly 15 to 20 minutes time will be allotted to everyone so that will be the duration of the interview the next uh, after just entering the meeting try to uh, uh, enter the meeting at least from like five minutes before your actual given time and whenever they are free they will let you enter or join the meet so first of all they are going to ask you to tell about yourself that will be like introduction of yourself they are going to ask and after your introduction uh, they are going to ask you questions so if you are not giving them any uh, direction or anything in the introduction then they can ask questions from anywhere but if in the introduction itself you can uh, uh, give some details about your uh, technical background or your technical knowledge then you can direct them or direct their questions to that direction like if you have done any important project or if you have done any internship uh, or any course or anything or you can also add your favorite subjects so these things you can mention in your uh, introduction but don't make it very large make it quick and short but if you have done anything like that make sure to also uh, uh, know the details and the concepts clearly about that particular suppose you are uh, saying that i have done this uh, particular course or i have done this, uh, this uh, or i have done this internship uh, so if you are doing something like that and mentioning that in the introduction make sure to know about that what you have done in that internship okay uh, prepare the details uh, prepare the things which you should know and what uh, what coding languages or what technologies you have learned what projects you make these things they might ask even if you are not giving anything in the introduction still they are going to then focus on your resume so whatever you have written in your resume before the interview they will ask you like few days ago a few days before the interview they will ask for your resume so whatever you are mentioning in that resume make sure to properly learn all the concepts of the resume because taking the interviews are mainly highly resume focused okay if you are writing any course any certification any internship anything whatever you are writing in the uh, resume they might ask questions from them okay for all of them also they might ask questions suppose you are even writing i have done a cyber security course so they might ask from cyber security uh, questions as well so at least uh, whatever you are writing you should have a clear concept of that and know all the basics about that also whatever projects you have done uh, you should be able to like give the basic idea of the project what is the project uh, doing what problem the project is solving what part of that particular project you have done like uh, if it is a team project which part you have uh, you have done uh, yourself and how you have done it why you have chosen that particular tech stack these things they might ask any course or certifications also if you have written in your resume make sure to uh, know all the concepts about those next after this they will ask some general questions like uh, pillars of oops okay so four pillars of oops and they might ask any questions or any one of them they might mention and ask you to explain those with giving some example and they might ask some internal questions from there also like what is abstraction why we use abstraction or they might ask what is polymorphism what is different types of polymorphism runtime versus uh, compile time polymorphism with examples these type of questions they might ask next will be uh, sql 
they might ask you SQL query to they might ask you to write a SQL query or they might ask you to uh, give you a situation some table schema or anything and then ask you how you will uh, fetch this 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 details from this particular table like that okay so SQL and oops will be very very important and the resume based question so these things will be the most important things that they are going to ask in the take mind the interview after that there might be some questions from dbms or exception handling so basics of dbms you should know what is a year diagram what is the what is one to one what is one to many relationships what is acid properties of dbms okay so these things you should know also exception handling what is the uh, use and what is the work of try throw catch finally these keywords what uh, which one is used when these things you should know also you should uh, they might ask you the basic coding questions but there is a very less chance of that but uh, if they ask any coding questions that will be very very basic questions okay they might ask you some dsa concepts also not coding just basic concepts and then they might ask you some hr related questions like uh, how you can manage a team how you will handle pressure of uh, can you do multitask this type of hr related questions also they might be there so make sure to prepare your resume oops sql these three things make sure to prepare very very well also with along with your introduction so if you are preparing these things you will be uh, done with at least 75 percent of your interview part okay and other 25 percent will be consisting of this dbms exception handling basic concepts and in hr questions these things okay so best of luck for your interview if you have done with your interview make sure to comment on whatever the questions you have faced in the interview round so that other students also can help uh, get help and get an idea about the interview route questions so if you are done with your uh, interviews earlier also make sure to comment down your questions